Hello everybody, this is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com. So today we're out here in the cliffs again. <laughs> Beautiful surroundings. So I just want to talk to you about um, the idea that when some people say the state is a tool that we use to improve ourselves, um, to lift ourselves out of poverty, to help the sick and the poor and the elderly, right? Now, there's a, a few a few reasons why I, I don't think this is an accurate symbolism. Um, number one, a tool is an inanimate object, right? A car is a tool, a computer is a tool, a gun is a tool, right? A uh, spoon, a shovel, these are all tools that we use to improve our lives or or not, right? They're, they're neutral. You know, a, a tool is both, it is neither moral nor immoral, it's amoral, right? Because it's an inanimate object. It's the intentions of the person that is using the tool, right? You can use a car to get you from point A to point B, and you can also use a car to mow people down on the sidewalk, right? So the state is not a tool. The state fundamentally does not exist, right? The state is just men and women with guns forcing you to pay them, right? It's just composed of individuals. So to say the state is a tool is, is um, it's, an, it's an inaccuracy, right? The state is a, basically it's a hallucination that we have that some people have a, an exemption to morality that other people do not have. So so it is not a tool, right? Because when we, if people think that after a certain point, um, for some reason, the laws of morality turn upside down and we can, we can think that these people have rights and other people do not have, um, I, I would say that's more accurate to thinking that, you know, people believing in Santa Claus or the Tooth Fairy or Easter Bunny and if if you were to tell someone Easter Bunny or that you would tell someone Santa Claus does not exist would their next question be well how would the how would the kids get presents no <laughs> so the idea that the state right now controls certain things such as currency such as roads such as state parks such as libraries does not at all mean that those things cannot be done more efficiently and more effectively in the marketplace, in the free market, right? Because, they, it, again, it's just men and women, and the only way that it's, it is made public and state-owned is the fact that you must be robbed through taxation to fund them, right? You have no economic choice but to fund them. So, so the state, no, the state is not a tool, okay? It's not an inanimate object, it's just men and women who think they have an exemption to morality that we are all subject to. So I think that's one thing to keep in mind that is, you know, like I always say, it's not that I'm for the abolition of the state or the abolition of government because it fundamentally does not exist. It's the idea of statism, it's the idea of the belief in authority, the belief that some people have superhuman rights that other people do not have. And when we recognize that no one is exempt from morality, then we can more clearly have a clear understanding of reality and and then we can begin to lead a more consistent and more logical uh, way of living right because if I steal it doesn't matter if it's one person a hundred people a thousand people or if we elect a representative to do so it's still theft and the same thing with assault rape and murder right so we have to maintain consistency in the way we think about these concepts and principles and we have, always have to apply morality, right? We must take the same actions done by an agent of the state and apply those actions to a private individual and if that becomes a crime, then <laughs> you can be sure that it is a crime. So, thank you very much. This is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Wishing everyone have a wonderful day. Enjoy the cliffs.